What's up guys? It's Ryantium here and welcome back to Skyrim. That's right you guys, we are back in Skyrim today and I'm gonna do a little bit of a mod showcase for today's episode. So, instead of doing the regular Let's Play episode, I wanted to showcase this really really cool weapon mod that I have been suggested I think two or three times over this whole entire Let's Play. So, without further ado, let's get into it guys. So, actually before we get into it, if you guys enjoyed today's video, Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter at CouchPotato1898. Now let's get into it. So, they told me to download something called the Buster Sword, I think is what it's called, and I'm not gonna lie, this is probably gonna get me some hate points online, but I have never in my life played a Final Fantasy game. Now, I assume that's what this is from, because in the mod description, I think it says... Let's see, what does it say? Let's 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 slow down a second and read exactly what it says, and uh, I can give you guys some details on it. So, let's see, we have Crisis Core, fi yeah, FF7, Final Fantasy 7. So, the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy 7, uh, this is, let's see, adds a replica of Zack Fair, also Cloud and Angeal, I'm sorry, I, I, I butchered the shit out of that. Um, let's see, original file, this awesome Buster, okay, so pretty much... You can make this sword at any forge. You just need the steel smithing perk. Sorry if you heard that. Um, that was my computer. Don't exactly know why it made that noise. You only need to have the steel smithing perk, four leather strips, four gold ingots, and 20 steel ingots to make one. And guys, look at the size of this sucker. What the fudge? It's the size of this tree. <laughs> look at the size of it. Holy shite. Look at how big that is. It's bigger than me. Like, if I put that... If I put it on the point of the blade, it would be taller than me. And that's incredible. But not only is there one two-handed sword, there are one-handed swords, guys. Look at this! We're dual-handing freaking meat cleavers. Like, look at this in first person. You can't even see through your peripheral vision. Like, I can't see anything. It's just... It's just terrible. Oh my god. Okay, so I figured, you know what? White Run is probably the perfect spot to, I guess, test these swords out and bloody our blades a little bit. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Even though there are storm cloaks, we'll just reload the save and we'll go from there. Hello there. Oh god, there we go. Okay, so okay, they do get blood on them. That is very good. So let's oh god, that, did you hear that? I was hearing double. Oh my god. Okay, so each one of these blades, I think I tempered them, or I, uh, I didn't temper them, I did the, um, what is it, with the anvil, or, yeah, I, uh, I made them better is what I'm trying to say. So, it certainly seems like they're pretty damn good. Let's see how much weapon damage they have, 91 each. So, that's pretty freaking good for one-handed swords. What's up, beggar? How you doing, bro? And I missed him. <laughs> Whoops. And now he's dead. Sucks to suck, buddy. Buddy boo. All right, now let's switch to the two-handed sword. I'm really interested to see what the two-handed sword does because we're level 100 in two-handed, guys. So let's cut these people's heads off. Oh, 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 oh my god. I might have to start using this blade in my regular Let's Play, guys. Oh my god. This is so freaking powerful. I just feel so... I feel invincible with this sword. Like, not even kidding. I feel like I could block a freaking... Like, if someone threw a pot at me, I could block it like that. <laughs> like, not even kidding. Oh, hello there, Heimskier. Would you like to have your head cut off? Because I would really like to cut your head off. Yes! <laughs> we cut Heimskier's head off. I freaking love that. Hello! Oh, I missed him. God dang it. Oh, God, I got the... Oh, Jesus, criminy. Holy Jesus, I was swinging kind of fast there. <laughs> Man, I, I aim for the damn shins. I am relentless. What's up, buddy? How you doing? You want to die, too? You probably don't, but you're gonna. Oh, look at that sunset. Or look at the sun. It's so beautiful. Is there anybody else up here? Anybody else that wants to die? Let's see. What if we go inside of here? Can we kill all the people that are inside of here? Oh, yeah. There's people inside of here. Okay. Hello there, person. How you doing, girl? Why you running? Why you running? Huh? Yeah, that's right. I got an upper hand, Lydia. I never liked you as a house, Carl, anyway. Stay down. Stay down, Lydia. Yeah, that's right. Stay down. Oh, I just killed Lydia. <laughs> oh, it's a damn good thing we saved. It is a damn good thing we saved. Come here, Ferengar. No one likes you. Come here. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, that's the Jarl. Hello. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was through her damn back. So, I think the one thing that I love about this freaking blade is how good it looks. So, after I'm done slaughtering all these people inside of here, 
Um, I'm gonna show you how good this blade looks up like look at how good this blade looks up close guys It's insane. Look at the textures. They're just so perfect. Like look at that. You can see each indent You can see the the uh, like ornate finish on the uh, on the handle on the hilt. It looks so good Oh, what's up Jarl? You want some more of me? You don't want none of me, buddy I don't know why these people keep getting up, but uh, they're gonna keep dying off with your head <laughs> I love how the new blood the blood mod just like Freaking drenches them in blood and then his head just rolls away. It's awesome. Can I play soccer with this? Hang on I want to see if I can play soccer with this. Let's see hit it. No, damn it. Wait. I have a, I have a better way. Hang on <laughs> Oh my god, that's so freaking funny. Holy shit. Okay, so needless to say this blade is Amazing looking like not even kidding. It's probably one of the best looking blades that I've seen and I've used a I use a lot of weapon mods in this game So if you guys are interested in downloading that mod obviously check out the um, Bethesda workshop on Bethesda.net or check it out on Xbox or I think PlayStation Network I don't know if this sword mod is available on PlayStation because it uses external assets, but I don't know, uh, so you have to check your uh, you have to check the mod description on Bethesda.net, guys. But I think that's all for today's mod showcase, guys. I think I'm gonna start using these swords though because they are absolutely incredible. So if you want to see more action with these swords, make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for more Skyrim Let's Plays, guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod showcase. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter at CouchPotato1898. And I will see you guys in the next video.